So I first became interested more so in climate science. Um, during my undergrad at UNC, I was fortunate to be able to go to Alaska one summer for some classes, and it was there firsthand that I saw the effects of climate change. Um, you know, you're driving on the road and the road's really poor quality because the permafrost underneath it is melting. So it was these things, seeing glaciers melt, um, just really opened my eyes to what's going on and it really made me interested in climate science. And then I had been interested in water resources and water quality, which is kind of what led me down the hydroclimatology path that I ended up on. So my research for my PhD is using a regional climate model to try to estimate how much snow accumulates in the mountains of North America. Um, believe it or not, we don't know how much snow is out there. Um, it's this big part of the climate system and you know people like seeing the snow in the mountains and skiing, but we don't actually know how much accumulates. So my work is trying to perform more reasonable model simulations to get an idea of how much snow, um, how much seasonal snow accumulates. Global models um, tend to have a lot of uncertainty in terms of mountain snow, and it's for a couple of reasons. Global models are really coarse, the grid cells are really large, so mountains are complex, the topography changes, elevation changes, um, and global models can't necessarily capture that. Global models also sometimes miss feedbacks between the land surface and the atmosphere, and snow is one of those really important feedbacks um, in the climate system. Snow is bright white, so it reflects a lot of energy. Um, latent heat exchanges happen with snow as it accumulates and melts. So our regional climate model that we use, we can run it at a high resolution and it does include those really important feedbacks, which allows us to get what we think is a better estimate of mountain snow. The results for my dissertation show that um, there's about 55% more mountain snow than we thought there was uh, from previous global estimates. And this doesn't change how much snow actually accumulates in the mountains. The mountains have the same amount of snow that they always did, but now we understand it better. And that's really important to understand the environmental system, the hydrologic cycle. And if we're underestimating snow in our global models, that's going to have impacts on our future climate change scenarios and how we understand what might happen in a future warming world. Um, so bird polar is really great in, and, it, and it's big positive are the people. And it's just such a welcoming environment and an encouraging environment. Um, whether you need help on running your model code or a lab technique, or if you wanted to do a practice talk, it's, the people will come out and watch you and support you. The other graduate students, the research staff, the just the staff, everyone are so great and supporting and um, it's been a really amazing five years working here and getting to engage with the people at Bird Polar.